Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Li Flies Mike. Today we're going to be tying the herring flatwing, basically a variation of the Kenny Abrams flatwing flies. We're going to be using some saddle hackles, some bucktail, a lot of natural materials. We're going to get a fly that has great action in the water and that you don't even really have to strip much to be able to get some really nice action. This herring color is always one of my favorites because there's a lot of herring and Li that run early in the spring and spawn up here in the back bays and the creeks, especially where there's fresh water outflowing. So hopefully you enjoy the video and let's get right into it. just want to say Striper Moon is probably one of my favorite books and it also kind of changed how I think about fly fishing. So it's a wealth of information when it comes to how to fish flat wings as well as how to effectively tie flat wings. It's a great book. Highly recommend checking it out if you want to get into tying flat wings. 210 denier flat wax nylon thread is what I'm using. We have some Mustad C70SD 3-odd big games. Now, I think they are discontinuing these and they're changing over to a different hook. And then they don't have the 3-odds yet, but you can substitute these with Gamagatsu SL12Ss in the 4-odd if you like. Bill's body braid here, but you can use any suitable body braid you'd like. We have some head cement. You can use what you'd like. This is hairline dubbing hard as hull. And then we have some super glue as well. We have some peacock curl to top it off. Some tab eyes, which I got from saltwaterflies.com. You don't have to put any eyes on there. A whole host of flat wing hackle. If you don't have flat wing hackle, you can always use something else, but skinny flat wing hackle makes for great tails with these. We have some flashaboo here. Various colors of bucktail. Because we're doing herring, we're going to have some blues, some pinks, some purples, some gray, as well as some, some nice white bucktail. So... But you can feel free to tie these in whatever colors you like. And last but not least, we have some marabou. Get some thread on the hook here. That way we don't have any material slipping on us. We're going to take some bucktail here. We're going to just take a very small amount. And we're going to put that down to help support the hackle for the flat wing tail. Our flat wing hackle here. And we'll find a feather that we like. Take a single piece of hackle like this. And we're just going to lay that down flat. Like so, ensuring that that piece of hackle of is laying flat. In fact, what you can do as well, because we loosely wrapped it, we can grab it, kind of shorten it up slightly if we want before we tie our next hackle on there. So we have a nice pink feather here that we're going to tie down flat. Lay that down like so. I'm going to trim this a little bit behind the eye. Some yellow hackle right now as well. And I like to strip it off so it's a little bit easier to work with the quill like that. And we'll lay that flat. Nice blue patch. We'll try and find a piece that's suitable. This one's actually quite long so I'm going to just taper it down. We'll taper this down like this. Kind of lightly tie that so they lay nice and flat. Just take a couple pieces of flash here. Depends how heavy you want to go. Sometimes I like making them flashy, so I'm gonna throw in I'm gonna throw in about eight or nine pieces. Take this flash and just fold it in half like so. Then I can just wrap that on there. We could take our body braid, 
And we're just going to tie this. We're going to tie our body braid on there like so. We're going to take a little bit of super glue here. Put that on there so we can secure it. We're going to wrap that on there like so. Making sure to leave myself some room by the hook eye. And we have a nice body on this fly. One of the rules of flat wings is keeping them nice and sparse, but I am going to add some bucktail to push some bulk. Take some bucktail here. We're going to tie this in on the throat. Not using too much thread or too much bucktail. Make sure we get our bucktail here so we can take out all the shorter hairs. We're just going to tie in a little bit of pink. I'm going to take my thumb and kind of spread that around. Your thumb and thumbnail is one of your most invaluable tools in fly tying, in my opinion. I think we'll go with some of this kind of lavender color at the moment. Just a couple strands. Again, not trying to add too much bucktail to this fly. We're using minimal thread wraps so we don't end up with too much thread. We'll take some gray bucktail. Kind of taper it off so we don't have some smaller hairs. Go ahead and tie some blue in here. Again, with minimal thread wrapping, so we don't end up with too much thread on there. A little bit of darker blue here, which I'm going to tie in now. A little bit of this purple on top I think would be nice. Again, not trying to add too much. I'm only really adding about 15 to 20 hairs at most at times, sometimes 10. Some different colors. You can feel free to use whatever colors you like. Now I am going to tie some marabou on the throat here. Bunch of marabou here. We're going to strip this off the quill like so. I'm going to trim this nice and flush. And last but not least, we'll take a little peacock curl here. We'll just take about six or seven pieces of peacock curl and tie this on here. Can always adjust that if we like. All right, last but not least, we will take some tab eyes, which I got from saltwaterflies.com. And the nice thing about these is you can actually, if I can get it off, they have a little tab on there so we can actually tie it in, which is nice.
Sometimes I don't like the tab sticking too far out, but I don't mind. It's up to you personal preference how far you want it to go back. I make sure that they are secured pretty well. And then we just throw a whip finish in. We just make sure we whip finish, give it a couple good whip finishes. Oh, and now we're just going to apply a little bit of head cement here. We'll let that dry a second, then we'll throw it right in the swim tank.